Hello everyone. Welcome to We Design Tomorrow, a podcast for designers to unleash your creative potential. We here to provide you a right information from right people. We would also proclaim ourselves as a signal in the noise. So, welcome again. I'm Sudarshan. I'll be hosting this podcast. We bring you designers from different stages and different levels from a intern to manager level position in design. So, in the list today, we have Yuvraj Muthu who you can call as a design leader and uh, he leads a team in a startup called Kissflow who is going to be unicorn very soon so he runs a team called CSK Creative Services Kissflow yes welcome yuvraj welcome to we design tomorrow podcast welcome to the thank show thank you sudarshan thank you for inviting me in your podcast i'm happy to do for designers <laughs> so how are you brother yeah i'm good doing great right okay so before we get in we would i would like to introduce myself who am i to start this so this is the first episode so i'm a product designer i designed a product called scroll me um scroll me in actual you can say which is a front page of your internet life uh, where all your content in linkedin instagram spotify youtube whatever it is everything in a single wall you can scroll and see all your content So I think this is going to be a revolutionary in uh, content or uh, creator space in very soon. So we'll see it's in a beta launch mode. Uh, I would like to thank my um, boss, Mr. Uh, Deepak Kumar for giving me the opportunity to do that. So yeah, it's my uh, and also I ran a podcast called Sudarshan Speaks. It's an entrepreneurship podcast where I have done nearly 44 episodes where I spoke with nearly 30 plus founders. So that's a good start. Now I needed the change so it's here for you for uh designers we design tomorrow. So yeah, let's start and about Yuvraj and me and we know each other for nearly 1 year and uh, he like he is my I can call him as uh, call him my mentor too. So whenever I'm like uh, confused in something like uh, something related to design or career I used to call him and say bro bro i have this problem and say uh, things like that <laughs> so usually we, we speak like like nearly 30 to 40 minutes about that and he give me clarity at the end of the day and i go to sleep <laughs> so uh, it's how it happens like uh, so we need uh, ne- no for nearly one year so yeah so he just uh, at the beginning he just um, gave a feedback for my uh, portfolio which i done a year back now he is my uh, brother mentor or whatever you say so thank you thank you so much brother uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, your time to come here and join in the first episode of this podcast yeah thank you so much sir and uh, i want to tell you about yourself actually oh. um, yeah so uh, as you mentioned uh, we have been closely have, have a ch- conversation with uh, each other right about design uh i'm so happy about your growth uh, from the sudarshan speaks that is uh, entrepreneur podcast to the design podcast uh, i hope uh, you va- add a lot of value to the design people and uh, yeah grow more yeah all the best to you thank you thank you so much sir okay so yeah we'll jump into the questions okay so you took a design as a career like a uh, 15 years back am i am i right or 10 years back Yes, it's a good memory for me. <laughs> yeah, good memories. Okay, when did you start? In which year? Was it precisely? Um, I think it 2006, I think. 2006. 6 or something. 6 or something. Mm. Yeah, that's how I started. Mm, I was uh, kind of very... Uh, like, which is like uh, 16 yeah. years back, right? Which is yeah, like... I think, yeah. uh, like, when I told my parents I wanted to pursue design 4 or 5 years back and they were like, no you should not <laughs> and they felt design is something very uh, unpopular and what about you like what about 16 years back what happened how did you choose this uh, this field design yeah <laughs> it's about started in my school days uh, i was uh, like very creative person i scribbling usually scribble at desk in the board a uh, lot of people asking a lot of ideas i will give some different perspectives to them and one of my uh, uh max teacher called me and said uh, about my creativity at my desk uh you do very good at creative uh, i think you can explore a lot on the idea but i didn't understand what it is uh, then 
I had a senior uh, in the school. Uh, his name is Sri Ram. Uh, I think he is the one uh, who inspired me come to the design industry. Uh, first of all, thanks to him. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's uh, first uh, I started with uh, some background uh, manipulation and all these things. Later, uh, uh, it started with interest. First thing, uh, I didn't know about the what passion is. Manipulation uh, passion uh, in Photoshop. You do that. Yeah, in Photoshop. Uh, in Photoshop, which year? Seven, yeah. Photoshop seven. Seven. Seven, okay. seven, <laughs> seven actually. Right. So okay. one of the amazing. Uh, The, that is the iconic uh, thing <laughs> i think the logo the, uh, the logo yeah, the the cover I, of the eye yeah. <laughs> yeah so one of the signature uh, one uh, that made me uh, into the uh, industry actually uh, now i can uh, resonate uh, most of the people who get into the design it's because of photoshop in the early stage uh, yeah. yeah so later uh, uh, i had interest on design then uh, i started uh, doing some manipulation photo manipulation things then it's okay then i started uh, studying at bca so uh, i know it won't help me uh, then i told my father okay no this is not going to work for me so i will go with the design uh, he asking what is design even i didn't know what is design <laughs> on the time <laughs> then uh, i'm okay but uh, i can survive a lot on the time design industry is has boomed there is no uh, like uh, ui ux functionality it's more into aesthetical that's it uh, uh, on the time uh, design industry is uh, comparing with the ddp center itself so a lot of struggles we i had in early stage also uh, i ha- i'm earning very less on the time uh, on the time and uh, finally uh, i work for long hours i uh, get paid very less but even though i also happy to work with then only i got to know oh this is what passion is so my interest is changed it to passion that's how my journey has started in 10 years uh, even i didn't know i will be like <laughs> uh, i hates the uh, the team uh, because the way i started uh, my journey uh, it's about uh, uh, then i get to know nowadays i get to know it's not about destination it's about the journey uh, we need to enjoy the process that's it yeah wow i would like to know more about uh, csk your team in uh, kissflow because we know kissflow is something uh, very inspiring for uh, all of uh, all of the people who wanted to start up and uh, yeah you lead a team there a creative team there how is it i want to know more about it <laughs> one of the, uh, the lowest team for me and uh, i was so happy to work with them and uh, we have around like 16 to 17 people Uh, 12 visual designers and uh, two three uh, motion two motion designers and two uh, video editors and uh, yeah th- these are the people which working for the creative team so the name uh, where we got from suresh actually so suresh is the one who uh, told about uh, we I, we usually called the csk but he thought okay i think uh, uh, we thought creative squad his flow but he suggested no i think uh, creative services is the right word so he is the one who suggested the word and thanks to him and uh, thanks for him to uh, give a lot of opportunity to explore for us uh, in terms of the branding the creatives all these things and um, uh, we had a, a creative festival uh, one and a half year back actually so one of the amazing uh, uh, activity that we have done it in the remote plus model Uh, yeah on the time itself we we came up with this name yeah okay right right, right. how is it to work with uh, suresh amadam sir yeah i'm always happy to <laughs> always happy to work with them and uh, uh, yeah i learned a lot from him <laughs> and uh, yeah so he always push me and unleash me every time <laughs> from like uh, from the early research like now i'm completing like five and a half years uh, so from the day one itself uh, Uh, how we gave some idea or challenges uh, now is it the same and uh, he always supports me and uh, always gives freedom to explore a lot okay yeah. right 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 so who are who doesn't know suresh samadam he is a ceo or founder of uh, kissflow yeah so you said you have nearly 12 visual designers two motion designers and uh, two video editors so what they do in your team what they so you, okay yeah yeah we work for uh, marketing team so the 12 visual designers we they have uh, work for some different functions 
so one will be taking care of the marketing uh, websites so the other people taking care of the brand marketing a few people taking care of the product side of marketing yeah so these are the people. and from the motion designers uh, uh, we do explainer videos for the brand uh, for the marketing and uh, other motion designers working for the brand yeah so video editor can be uh, work for some events uh, collaterals and uh, video production actually so we also have uh, we also do a video production as well so some for events and all these things yeah okay those so activities maybe, you mentioned or uh, email campaigns uh, social media campaigns and what kind of marketing that uh, kissflow do so in yeah, that so, yeah so yeah main thing is uh, to acquire the leads from the website yeah so it uh, coming to website uh, we have uh, uh, like platforms and features so for example if somebody wants some product or something or get to know some information they can come to the website they can know about the information and get to know about the benefits and features and they work for i mean they can sign up for the product or book a demo yeah so other uh, team the brand marketing team is more uh, aligned with the brand side so they will be taking care of the the decks uh, i mean the google slides designs and lot of uh, uh, collaterals uh, for the uh, sub functions like for example we have talent retention and uh, talent acquisition that is called we call it as people ops so they will be aligned for uh, people ops uh, collaterals yeah so other thing is product marketing uh, they, we do some marketing collaterals for the product side okay product ops can you just no, no, people ops people ops sorry i'm uh, sorry not yeah. just people ops yeah people so ops. it's uh, so talent acquisition is one who hire so talent retention is one who exit right so take care of the people's culture and company's culture as well so they togetherly called as a people operations that is we call it as people ops okay people ops is part of csk or uh, no no people ops is a different functions like uh, we have creative marketing right we have separate uh, function as people ops right not, it's not under the it's a organization level not the marketing level marketing level so how do you recruit these people so uh, we just wanted to give the information about how these uh, uh, recruitment or the screening process happens in companies like uh, kissflow and uh, other uh, product based companies so we would like to know more about the recruitment process what happens in csk yeah, kissflow csk yeah so i'm happy to say this <laughs> yeah so we do a lot of strategy for uh, the hiring thing uh, once we up once we post some uh, for hiring in the website or my post or somebody from the hr can post uh, we usually receive like thousands of applications so i told uh, my hr to uh, filter it like uh, i told about uh, the portfolio the portfolio is very very important for people so you need to first thing you need to filter about the portfolio it can be triple or it can be behans it can be your drive on all these things uh, anything it can be and uh, they come up with some uh, based on the communication level and uh, uh, the criteria uh, there are some criteria about uh, they are they mostly working on website or the google docs or social media collaterals or all these things they filter the applications and uh, send it to me or my leads so leads will uh, uh, segregate the uh, Uh, applications and review it and send back to uh, hr to set up a call or i think uh, uh, it's a, it's about uh, um giving some feedback about the portfolio as well for example if somebody uh, doesn't work uh, they, they they just tell hr okay these are the something is missing so if they worked we just uh, set up a call with them hr and uh, they will uh, next in next two days or next day they will set up a call with my, myself or leads so for now uh, who are reporting to me i will take care of the interview but uh, who are reporting to my leads so they will take her maybe i will take the second route so what i am maybe usually we will do the same thing what i do uh, because we like we collaborated uh, uh, had a discussion on this uh, first thing i will always uh, maybe like i will take two kinds of people one is like internship one is like uh, who has one person is like who has experience Uh, if you take internship i look for uh, passion and enthusiasm uh, mostly i don't look for skill because uh, in the early stage they have they know what to do they don't know what to do right so i will always look for passion but when it comes to experience 
i will look for passion plus skill set so these are the two things i am seeing it so it need to align with the need so what is the need so these are the three things need to be aligned um yeah this is a thing uh, we followed uh, once they fine with it say they we had a interview and uh, i'll have set of uh, uh, strategical question <laughs> to ask them like for example uh, uh, instead of asking uh, tell about yourself uh, i ask i usually ask uh, how did you come to the industry okay <laughs> and what value add do you add to design so these kind of uh, questions i will ask and they will give some smart answers <laughs> yeah then uh, if this is fine then uh, we will send some assignment uh, give some 3 4 days or 5 days to come up with some uh, come back to uh, assignment and, and they will yeah, yeah some solutions and they will come back in another 3 4 days so we will review it and uh, if it is work okay we will call for the next round or if not work okay we will send them with the feedback so that's how the process is uh, solution yeah. okay so the process can i repeat it it's a five step process like whatever yeah. i have seen from you you start with the portfolio then the screening process uh, done by hr or some other uh, leads in your team then the interview then you may give them assignment then the next round or you give them a call letter so this is how it works yeah yeah so maybe i will give you one more time like first they will we will get the portfolio we will screen it they will come to me or come to the lead okay once they will uh, approve it uh, they will have a call with them uh, and uh, if they are fine with it they will give the assignment okay second round is with me once they are fine with me so directly to the next so on uh, after myself we have a culture round so that is a different wow. one from the other companies uh, right, that okay. we are doing we are doing great at this so we have set of like uh, people of team say mentioned right yes. they do the culture interview so about a uh, few questions uh, interesting questions then if they are fine with it okay the next round is the call letter yeah can you know more about it the culture what culture do you have what is yeah. different from other companies what kis yeah. have kis kis flows important thing is culture the culture okay. so one thing uh, you asked about suresh right one thing i learned from him is a lot of things but one thing uh, learned from me is the culture so he always invest in people in uh, as well as the product so i think many companies won't do that so we always have a lot of uh, things uh, discussing we do lsd i mean leadership and self deception book reading and we have leadership uh, activities and all these things uh, people who are coming to the company so, people may mil- misinterpret lsd <laughs> okay uh, no no so uh, leadership and self deception so right, okay. then uh, uh, based on that so we do uh, culture round they will have some interesting question about the core values we have six core values okay um they they will ask some sort of questions uh, around the core values so they will rate the uh, candidate profile based on that uh, conversations okay. so once they so we yeah. what are the six core values you have so we have bias to action speak up and 2020 vision craft a memorable experience and all for one yeah i think you said five um bias to action action um speak up stay, stay curious yeah stay curious stay curious okay yeah, the sixth curious. one is yeah, yeah. stay Plus curious stay curious yeah yeah right so we have all six and uh, everyone who joins the company they always have this in mind like for example for me take example speak up <laughs> okay uh, initially i'm little less on speak up when i joined because i'm new okay later i adopt to the culture okay uh, even they pushed me a lot to speak up and uh, for we always do some craft memorable work and uh, all for one togetherness bias to action uh, no permission seek uh, no permission just go with the flow and uh, <laughs> 2020 vision uh, clarity is very important what is so the 2020 vision? Is, vision we are in 2020 yeah, you know so, no uh, 2020 vision is about the clarity for example we usually start work once we have the clarity without clarity we won't start the work so there is two words is very familiar at case flow one is clarity one is trust Okay, so we usually okay. for example if we have some work like if we receive some feedbacks or some brief we usually have uh, do you have clarity no can you come again you will ask that and trust so these are the important thing so uh, the people of steam doing a great on this culture part okay yeah. so the recruitment process or the 
yeah it happens in uh, two different uh, rounds which starts from you i mean the creative team has will have the separate round and the people yeah. ops team will have a separate round separate. for culture yeah yeah that oh. uh, that is only one round for people ops team right okay and yeah, yeah you will have different uh, levels of screening uh, you have different rounds in screening no that's it this is yeah, what yeah, we yeah. have yeah yeah right interesting bro so i know you from linkedin you are okay. very active in linkedin which okay. i know <laughs> and every day whenever i just scroll on linkedin you definitely you every day you put a content on linkedin i guess okay. and you write something sometimes you make a reels and which is very interesting you you proclaim yourself as a design leader what is design leadership what is it is different from design manager or different other positions <laughs> Yeah, it's an interesting question. <laughs> uh, maybe I will uh, tell some brief story about this. Uh, when I started, okay. early, uh, I, I'm a person who is very good at technical skills. Okay. Later, I'm grown. Uh, my experience is very high. I'm going to the high level. Uh, more than a technical skill, the other uh, uh, soft skills is very important. That is the growth mindset. So I was in a fixed mindset. Later, I find out, okay, uh, I want to grow more. Okay, I, I changed the growth mindset. That's how my thing is changed. Uh, then uh, uh, one year, one and a half year back, I took uh, data about uh, the designers. I spoke to a lot of designers. They mostly talk about the technical things, not into the the soft skills. skills. The, they want to design best or they want to do a great design, aesthetically good, functionality good. Yes, but they they don't have. growth mindset to grow more for example one liner i can say is uh, top of the mountain is bottom of another mountain so i am a <laughs> design leader is who believes in top of the mountain is bottom of another mountain for example if i am uh, uh, leading the team right so if i am thinking about i am the top of the mountain i can't grow i have to see from one mountain to other mountain oh i have to grow more then my team will grow with me right so this is very important thing uh the other the manager or the lead or somebody who is uh, they have technical skills right uh, i want to be more into a leadership uh, style uh, design uh, designers need to be in leadership style not into some individualistic and all these things people need to make impact in the business okay, yeah. in in ourselves in the society in other people uh, it's like pay it forward so yeah what uh, whatever you say which is um, which something uh, related to product management or what product manager do am i right because i'm a bit interested into product management i used to read uh, articles more about uh, product management on the other side so as a guy who is uh, who have aspirations to become entrepreneur at some future i have uh, uh, interest in reading more about product management to know more about this uh, tech side of a uh, product so whatever you say which is something related to product management or more no, like like no. more like a product management no or what's not. the difference it's not <laughs> okay it's please. not who yeah. have growth mindset they can be a designer for me example take example i can be a designer i can be a product designer i can be a visual designer i can be a motion designer i can be a video editor i can be a cinematographer i can do all because i am a person who believe in ideas not in the tools okay A lot of people worrying about Figma is acquired by Adobe, right? I am not <laughs> worrying about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I am uh, believe in the person on idea. Right. Because okay. I am not in a fixed mindset. I am in a growth mindset. So it's about individual who has leadership mindset. I mean the growth mindset. It's about individual who it is. For example, you have growth mindset. That's how you think about from the product to entrepreneur and entrepreneur to here, right? So you have growth mindset. If you are a fixed mindset, you will be sitting. you don't know what you are doing it for example i will tell a story about uh, three stone cutters okay? okay so one person is uh, walking on the road uh, somebody is cutting the stones so he is asking what you are doing okay hey are you blind i am cutting the stones so why are you cutting the stones cutting the stones for the daily wages and uh, and for daily life then he said fine uh, then he went to second stone cutter asked uh, what are you doing the second stone cutter said Hey, I am doing the. I am cutting the best stones. Are you blind? I think so. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Why are you cutting the stones? Uh, I am the one who is cutting the best stones in the world. The third one, this third. Uh, hey, then he said, "Yeah, your stone is good." He went to the third stone cutter. So he asked, "What are you doing?" So I am cutting the stones. Why are you cutting the stones? Uh, I am. Uh, I am building the cathedral. 
so that's why i'm like uh, cutting the stones so if you compare these three stories like three work people the third one is have clarity so what they what they are doing it what impact they are going to see it even though he is not building the cathedral he knows he is a part of the uh, the vision of the cathedral right so that makes his life very impactful and purpose that's a purpose so once have leadership mindset they are they have a purpose i mean meaningful in life they know what they are doing it for right. creating some impact yeah so for me if you ask the leadership i want our design folks to be a leader right. leader mindset okay. so that's how i'm aiming to so because so you want uh, to create most, impact in uh, in the domain of design yeah because yes, so uh, design mostly leader. designers are uh, focusing on technical skills i want them to be at least awareness about the design leadership about the growth mindset that's what i am doing it mm. so what you mentioned about the linkedin right that's how i started uh, <laughs> like one and a half years back i just totally started then now a lot of people pinging me asking me a lot of things yeah i'm so happy that uh, sudarshan so you want uh, designers to have both technical and also soft skills too to become yeah, a leader since meaning they grown growth mindset it's a growth mindset yes they don't want to be a they, so they growth mindset uh, demand you a soft skill right am i right yeah 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 i think uh, we i i haven't mentioned the beginning i guess so people who are wants to get idea in a broader view you should definitely book a call with yuvraj <laughs> he is the right person for that uh, he is a design mentor and uh, he educate lot of designers out there and uh, give them awareness about uh, for their career growth and he as he said uh, he have a growth mindset and uh, he wants all uh, others all of us have to he wants all of us to have that too so sure, about sure. linkedin yeah you said you are active on linkedin for nearly one and a half years so yeah. where it started and uh, how do you think it is rewarding you as a design leader yeah i think uh, i started one and a half years back uh, for example <laughs> i'm the person uh, who worrying about uh, what is happening in the industry in the before like not one and a half year like uh, seven eight years back so then uh, uh, i didn't do i mean i won't uh, go social media like in terms of the design and all these things after i reached one level uh, uh, like my glass is filled okay i am overflowing my waters actually <laughs> okay <laughs> then i decided okay i need to pay it forward to the people so then i started from the linkedin so which platform i can do it on the time i didn't uh, know much about in, like uh, instagram actually so uh, there is also some lot of platform and dribble all these things right uh dribble is about uh, sharing the inspiration right but uh, mine is completely is different so mine is completely is a th- thought process so i want to be a thought side of uh, leadership so i just picked the linkedin uh, that's how it is started uh, on in beginning i just uh, uh, talked about some same kind of mindset uh, not very high level very low level and sharing some about uh, design thing all these things and sharing some resources uh, one of my uh, skill is about the analytics actually so i took data okay uh, my engagement and other impression is very getting less so why uh, like i'm not getting performing here then i thought of okay i'm doing a mistake here so i posting my view actually my view meaning uh, i think uh, for myself not for other self then <laughs> i stay, change the strategy i po- i started posting uh, what is the need from from the for the users that's how it is started now it is performing really well so uh, that's how a uh, lot of uh, engagements and lot of impression came and one of the thing and one of the post which i close to my heart is about uh, the design so uh, i posted about what is design uh, design is 80% research and 20% thinking so i got like 45k impression or something wow. a lot of people shared uh, that uh, thing and even some of the people recreated that same design and they posted on their own but i am so happy right, for designers okay. right so it's good uh, yeah right interesting so finally what would you say to young designers so you are in senior level position you lead a team of nearly uh, 16 members in a growing startup called uh, kissflow so what advice you will say to young designers who are uh, a budding designers like me or who others listening to this podcast 
the first thing is about the uh, artivists design right so people okay. usually uh, had a myth about uh, uh, about the art and design now people thought who are uh, uh, doing art work or artist they can come to design field right but it's a myth so i'm disagree with it uh, whoever want to be a designer they can come and join i mean j- uh, come and learn design actually so maybe in the industry people are like we are in the design ecosystem maybe uh, you, you have a question is it happening yes it is happening in the college level actually so who are coming from college to design it is happening the second thing is about the communication skills uh, a lot of people worrying about okay i'm not good at communication i know only tamil it's okay naan apdi da aarambicha okay <laughs> that's how i started uh, so then after 2 3 years i learned a lot about uh, my they the improve, try to improve the communication that's how it is started and later 7 9 years 9 years later uh, after 9 years only i got some good communication i think uh, very minimal level not to the advanced right. level and uh, i think uh, communication uh, even it's uh, it's very hard for me to talk in english i'm uh, very good at uh, tamil so that i did my old, old podcast now this time i just want to challenge myself to do it in english and what i really learned uh, okay in the process of uh, doing this first episode of this podcast what i uh, what i realized is whatever i say should be uh, clear enough to you and people who are listening i don't want to be someone like shashi tharoor in talking <laughs> so that is uh, really hard for me at this stage maybe i can do that after 10 years but that is uh, very difficult difficult for me at this point of time yeah. so yeah, let that's me yeah that's what i yeah that's so, what i told right so people need to understand the requirement that's it that's mm-hmm. enough for the early stage early so after stage, two yes. years yeah early stage after two three years maybe you learn a lot and grow more that is the second myth people have third myth this uh, i don't have college i don't know where to study i don't know which person i need to contact boss don't contact any person just go to youtube and just know about a bit on the design and youtube that's enough find the instagram uh we can use a instagram and learning platform as well lot of people putting lot of content in instagram as well lot of uh, good people doing a great and um, uh, we have a lot of mentorship and lot of design communities sir join there a lot of exploration but people have some sort of mindset about these things you don't need a degree <laughs> you just uh, learn design that's it so it's uh, that's what i am these are the three things i am worrying about Uh, and you wish the fourth things. point i would like to add uh listen to we design tomorrow podcast from now so yes yes <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, i i want you to be that uh, solution i hope you will do it <laughs> yes so yeah. we are uh, like we trying to give you uh, the right information so yeah that's why we are here yeah so uh, other thing is uh, uh, find yourself and initially you will be confusing which design role you need to choose choose whatever you want like uh, do what you love and explore on the early stage uh, you don't need to worry about uh, like uh, i just want to go to ui works or visual design or motion design to whatever you want in the early stage in the design field that's it and find out the company type for example in house company or freelancing or in, like if you want to independent okay if you want to work with agency uh you can work on it so if you want to work for one brand you work for in house if you want to be independent you go for freelancing the third one is service based so that is uh, you can learn very fast uh, learning kind of uh, works actually fast paced uh, thing and um, the e-commerce company you can join for uh, some learning so nowadays uh, job learning is very important uh, yeah so uh, you can you have a lot of uh, opportunities out there in the world uh, you guys need to grab it this is very competitive world so keep running and uh, get yours <laughs> yeah very nice advice brother yeah so some of this episode i would say we started with uh, experience of yuvraj then we jumped on about the csk team of uh, kissflow and how they recruit we spoke about the complete process of it and uh, kissflow's culture which is uh, really interesting then what is design leadership and growth mindset then how linkedin rewards him as a design leader then uh, his few advices for uh, young budding designers tomorrow so i think hope you enjoyed and uh, learned 
a lot from this episode thank you all who all listening to this episode and thank you viraj for the, for your time thank you thank you sudarshan thank you for inviting me again <laughs> thanks <laughs> thank you